Hello everybody, Space Beetle is back. Today with some exciting words coming from NASA regarding Starship HLS development. According to a senior NASA official last week, SpaceX has been progressing very well toward the development of the vehicle that will be responsible for putting the next human safely on the surface of the moon. Needless to say, safety is the top priority of any crewed spaceflight, and in this regard, SpaceX is also making steps to address NASA's concerns, two of which we will discuss in this video. Mark Kersich, NASA's senior official who oversees the development of Artemis missions to the moon, has said that two of NASA's biggest technological development concerns were the new Raptor rocket engine as well as the transfer and storage of liquid oxygen and liquid methane in orbit. However, Kersich said SpaceX has made important progress in both areas. Now let's have a look at these two areas of concern, beginning with propellant transfer and storage in space, which will be a crucial step during the Artemis moon missions, there is a series of engineering design challenges that need to be addressed, some of which include propellant settling in a microgravity environment, the transfer of liquid propellants is complicated by the uncertain distribution of liquid and gases within a tank. The fact that the liquids will be floating around in a tank also makes the propellant transfer more challenging since the liquids can float away from the inlet. Another issue affecting cryogenic propellants and that SpaceX will need to address is the boil-off caused by heat coming from mainly the Sun and Earth. The exciting news is that SpaceX is already working toward demonstrating transfer and storage of propellant in space. According to Kersich, this is very high on their top risk list and there is a thorough ground test program plus a thorough test plan for in-space propellant transfer which includes measurement of boil-off. SpaceX will require several tanker starships working seamlessly to provide enough propellant for a mission to the moon, so I expect this to be a huge testing campaign in the future. The second item on the list of concerns for NASA has been the development of the Raptor rocket engine on which the success of the Starship program entirely depends. A total of 39 of these engines will be needed to conduct one flight alone, and on any crewed mission, the six engines carrying the ship will need to be restarted several times without them failing a single time, which would otherwise pose a high risk of death for any humans aboard the spacecraft. Commenting on engines, Kersich said that SpaceX has been very quickly on development, moving fast from Raptor 1 to Raptor 2, which has increased performance and thrust quite substantially, almost matching that of the RS-25 engine, which is used to power NASA's SLS rocket, while also reducing the number of total parts. The production cadence has also reached one engine per day, or seven a week, which is essential for a rapid pace of Starship production. In fact, if this rate is maintained, SpaceX would be capable of assembling up to nine new Starships and Super Heavy boosters every year, although possible engine swaps due to damage in reused spacecraft also need to be taken into consideration. But anyway, it seems unlikely to me that SpaceX will stop at uh, one engine per day. Probably that number will increase with time. Kersich also said that SpaceX is currently targeting early December for the first Starship test flight. After this initial test flight, NASA is tracking three additional flight tests of Starship for in-space fueling demonstration. According to Kersich, the second test will involve a tank-to-tank -tank transfer of propellant within the same spacecraft, that is a transfer from two tanks inside one Starship whereas the third test will involve Starship to Starship propellant transfer, that is uh, two Starships uh, they will mate and uh, will try to transfer propellant from one to the other. I'm really hoping that they set the best panoramic cameras they can get uh, to watch that event because I don't want to miss even one pixel of it. This test will be followed by a complete refill of a Starship from a space depot after which the spacecraft will perform a long-duration flight to simulate the in-space time of a lunar mission. Other than that, SpaceX is planning to always keep its low-Earth orbit propellant depots topped off for missions other than those to the moon. Remember, Mars is also a desired target. 
So exciting times are ahead for Starship. That first orbital test flight is getting really close now. And I'll keep my fingers crossed for it to happen before this year ends. And with that, I say goodbye for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon again. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye bye.